So we're here at the uh, Snapdragon gaming uh, demonstration, and we have on our devices here the Snapdragon 800 chip. We're showing uh, on the top a technical demo that we've done called Fortress. Fortress is representative of a uh, high-end console game. We're showing off the ability to kind of use all four cores and max out the GPU in a scene that's reminiscent of what you'd find in a, uh, a good-looking game. As I pan around here in interactively, you can kind of see some of the detail that we have. If you look into the water, you'll see reflection, refraction effects. We'd also see some uh, cloth simulations that are being done, every frame calculating what the uh, deformation would be. So as we uh, go through a canned animation here, you can kind of spot a few more things. You can see the animated characters, the uh, guards there running off. You can see a 3D particle effect. Uh, with uh, uh, an orange light that's lit and uh, actually adds to the lighting of the entire scene. You see the graphics complexity. About 300,000 polygons in this scene. Each polygon is, uh, is rendered uh, with our GPU, with lit, with uh, several texture and several passes and uh, giving a very realistic scene here. So that's Fortress. We have here two examples of um, marketplace games on running on our uh, Snapdragon 800 without any modifications. You can see a lot of realism in the game, interactivity, uh, running at at least 30 FPS, uh, full interaction. And these are, uh, this is uh, Modern Combat 4 from Gameloft. This one here is Need for Speed, Most Wanted. This one here I think has a uh, accelerometer interface uh, set on it right now. And again, you can see a lot of reflections in the car. Uh, very good looking environments, uh, tracks that uh, resemble uh, what you'd find in, in, in any game of this caliber. So um, that's our gaming examples uh, on the Snapdragon 800 chip.